Hello and welcome to Kinesiology Chris. I am Chris and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of torque. Okay, so before we can understand torque, we need to learn about force. So, um, um, give me a second here. All right. Whew. Okay. So you just saw me push that uh, box in a linear direction or a straight path, whichever you want to call it. And that's what force is. So when you push an object or pull an object on its center of mass, so it goes in a linear direction or straight path, okay? Uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. All right. So you can also pull the object, which uh, I got to unfortunately do, but I'm getting kind of old, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, Susie, if you could stop recording for a minute, I'm going to grab a glass of water. Okay, I'm back, and Susie's going to be dropping off a prop for the next demonstration. Oh my god, really? Just not drop that off anywhere, it's fine. Moron. Let's hurry up and finish this demonstration before Susie breaks something. Alright, so I got this wrench here, and... Jeez! Ah, Freaking! God! Where's a hawk when you need one? Okay, back to business. So what is torque? Torque by definition is the ability to use force to produce rotation about an axis or fulcrum. Alright, so this nut is the thing I want to rotate. It's screwed onto this bolt. The bolt is acting as the axis or the fulcrum in this case. Uh, so if I try to use my hands to generate torque, <clears throat> I'll fail. Because even though if you look at my arms and you get that amazing, spectacular visual sensation that they are perfect, they unfortunately are not strong enough to make this nut rotate around the axis. So I have to increase my torque. I can do that in two different ways. I can increase my force by getting stronger, but unfortunately... Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I'm not sure what just happened there. So as I was saying, first way to increase my torque is by increasing the force applied. The second way is to increase my distance from the axis with a lever. In this case, I'll be using a wrench. Oh, look who decided to show up late for dinner. Your dinner went that way about two minutes ago, moron. I don't know, I've been using that word a lot today. What's going on with me? Anyways, back to business. By increasing my distance from the axis, I increase my torque. Now it's important to note that torque is a combination of force and the distance from the axis with the lever. All right, so if I, uh, if I happen to be a little bit weaker, I'd probably need a longer lever so I can uh, move it. If I was stronger, I could get a shorter lever. Uh, but anyways, Let's uh, make this happen. There you go. Magic. Well, actually, it's physics. Uh, torque is much deeper than just uh, lever arms and uh, force. I uh, recommend you Google it. There's like 10 different mathematical equations you can look up on how to figure out how much torque you need for something. But anyways, I'm Kinesiology Chris, and I uh, just wanted to go over the basics of torque with you. Happy studying. <laughs> Uh, all right, I gotta go clean my shirt. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy studying, my friends. Stop rushing me. Jeez, I'm gonna make more steaks like that. Make more steaks. <laughs>